It's time for Taste Appeal, and tis the season for apples. If you're looking for a delicious recipe to make with your fresh picked apples, and Macy from Ann's Table for Two will show you how to make apple tarts for, you guessed it, two. Perfect. So good to have you here, Ann. Thank you for having That's me. That's why again. we like to have you here. So if someone's cooking for just two at home, they don't have to make uh, so much food. So, right. I no. feel like they have to eat it all, it, which isn't right. always a good we go, thing. We like to go on to something else. Right, especially when it's apple tart. So, this looks like a delicious recipe you're making it, it's today. It's my husband's favorite. It, I make it often, this time of year especially. But now, when you make it, the rule is every time you make apple tarts, he has to give you a foot massage. That's the rule in our house. That so should be the rule in my house. Now. Every day. <laughs> I love it. I think that's great. So, let me talk to you about um, some apples. Mm -hmm. um, Geisler Supermarket has, you know, all of these and an array of others, but mm -hmm. I brought the ones that I mostly cook with. Granny Smith's apples are very crisp and very tart. I don't often cook with them. They cook, they, it takes them longer to cook, so sometimes the crust doesn't cook as... Right, they're same. not as even. Right. Okay. Um, then there's, um, this is a McGowan. No, I'm sorry, this one is, yeah. I don't know I how have, to, McCoon, yeah. McCowan. Like, you know what, everybody says it's I different. know what you mean. This is the McGowan apple. This is, this is a really good apple. It's a nice, crisp, semi, a little bit of tartness to it. Then you have either Rome or Empire apples, which I think are just about similar. These are all very good eating apples, by the way. I, my, one of my friends loves this one. And then there's um, Cortland's, which is my favorite. They're sweet, they're crisp, they're perfect for, this is the best apple, I think, to, to cook with. Okay. Except that this is a Macintosh, and believe it or not, you're not supposed to cook with these, and my husband likes this the best, so this is the one I use. Well, whatever floats your boat, right? That's it. He's happy with that, so that's fine. So I get my foot massage. Okay. <laughs> so, now, um, what I want to tell you about is these little pans. These little pans are kind of a little, this particular one is tough to find, but mm -hmm. you can find them in a good kitchen store, just a small tar pan. If you want to make this for more than two people, get a um, muffin top pan. They actually have muffin top pans where there's like 12 of them in there. Right. And you can make it with that. Okay. If you make it in a regular muffin pan, the, there's too much apple, the, the dimensions are different. Too deep. Yeah, okay. it, will, it won't. It All right, won't so the next right. step is lining the pans. Right. You're okay. going to line the pans and we're going to spray. I spray everything with Pam because, you know, I like that. <laughs> These are our jumbo size muffin um, tins. Now, there's jumbo and regular. Make sure you use the jumbo. And you see how I just did that? And yeah, just fancy. Push it in. All right. Then you take. Good tip. Um, this is the regular already made dough. Already made dough. Mm -hmm. And cut it in half, and then you cut this one in half into two wedges. And then I take one, and I just cut it just a little bit extra. This is for the one with the crisp topping. I make two because of the fact that uh, my husband likes the crisp topping, <laughs> and I like the other one. That's sweet of you. So, so you make just what take, he likes. That's it. Take <laughs> the crook of your finger and just kind of squish it in there. Okay. And then take the other one. And the, the only reason why you do this, this usually will help it to keep it from sticking. But I always like to spray everything with a non-stick cooking spray because it just... Oh, it's now this one, you you want to cut around it, right. of course. Right. I cut this one. This one will be for the crisp, and this one will be, see how I've got... That's a regular Oh, yes. That's a crisp topping. Okay. Now, I usually make it like this again because my husband likes that one. Yeah. He likes You can both. make it any way you want. But now, then you start cutting the apple. I start cutting the apple, and I'm going to use this. Okay. Now, you don't don't use, it, they'll tell you to use a peeler, but I like to use a paring knife because I have found, oh, by the way, the size about... Um, about softball, softball size. Okay. But see, this is why I like a paring knife. Can you see this right here, this little brown spot? You can cook, take out the brown spot. Easier, yeah. Much easier. So, and about a cup and a half of apple. Okay, so we're, and we're gonna cut up some apple, right. but we're not done yet with you in the kitchen. We'll be back done. in just a bit to finish up. And I'll show you how I And then finish. we can try it. Okay, great, thanks so much, Ann. Thank People you. can visit your website, annstablefor2.com, to Thank find you. out more information. Welcome back to Mass Appeal. Well, it's time to finish up Ann Macy from Ann T Ann's Table for Two's recipe for apple tarts for two. Of course, they're for two, Ann. It's your recipe. That's it. But see, now there's three of us, so, <laughs> so well, that's why I made we're extra gonna fight over here. Thank you, Ann. <laughs> before we, uh, before this part, we were cutting up the apples. Right. You were cutting up the and apples. And this is the size, about this size, <laughs> you know, about like about maybe an inch, half inch little size. Cubes. Okay, little cubes. So okay. what did you do to get them to the right, steamy First hot? of all, it, about a softball size. I, sometimes I use more because I eat half of it while I'm cutting. <laughs> <laughs> and then I microwave it. I microwave the apples for about a minute, just until they start to cook. And anywhere between 45 seconds to a minute and a half, depending upon your microwave. Okay. The reason is because I like my apples cooked. 
okay? Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of Anne's pie spice, a tablespoon or two. Now, can you buy Anne's pie spice at Geisler's? No, you no. can't. <laughs> that would be good. Can we, can we ask Anne what's in your special spice? Yes, well, it, actually, this is on my website. The recipe for this is on my website. It's in my cookbook. But if you only wanna make it for two, and I don't recommend that, then it's, uh, it's two <laughs> tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cornstarch, uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and uh, an eighth of a te teaspoon of nutmeg and salt. But you if you that. have no. this all already made and you have your your dough already prepared and you have your crisp topping when I'm going to tell you about in a minute or you can do this in minutes and that's why I get my foot massage every night that's why <laughs> exactly. the hubby loves it you can do it at the beginning of the season too and have the mix all set for the whole fall well yeah, the, oh, the, the pie spice. The pie spice. Oh, the pie spice, the pie spice, yeah, it doesn't last me quite that long. <laughs> <laughs> well, not with all those foot massages you're getting, no. <laughs> oh, so, look at that, perfect for yeah, two. Just Why, so, I, like not I said, that I doubted yeah, you, but you know. Say, and table so, for two. I, this is with the one that doesn't have the crisp topping, just fold it over, it doesn't have to be fancy, it'll be fine. There you go. Oh, you can mush it up a little bit. Looks and nice. then you're going to take the one now, the crisp topping. I do have uh, mm. Anne's crumb, sweet crumb topping is in my cookbook, and I think it's on my website. But this, you, uh, Geyser Supermarket, right in the produce department, they have uh, several different types of crisp topping. So all you got to do is, is put five tablespoons of butter in with it, softened butter in with it. I do two packages and put it in the freezer because I we do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> and you can, right, and then you can just make your own, or you have your, your crisp recipe that you can use as well. Right. And your cookbook, of course, has a lot of a lot of great recipes and it not just No, it has every pie spice and from right. topping. And what I like about your book is that the website, uh, the rather the recipes, you can mix them up a little and do them as you like them. You know what I mean? That's that's well, then you can do that with anybody's recipes, but you can buy my cookbook if you want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now these go on the bottom shelf, bottom shelf, oh, bottom shelf, 450 degrees, and yes, that's very high temperature. But the reason is because I don't like it when my pie crust isn't cooked on the bottom. Oh, now and how long do you cook bacon for? About check your your oven. Again, all ovens are different, but somewhere between 15 to 18 minutes. These were in for 15. Okay, okay, so not too long at all. And everybody's, you know, oven is different. And I brought this. This is how, I remember I was here last year and I did all of those blueberry things. Yes. And I do how my, can we my apple pie the same way with a, you know, a six inch spring form pan. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how that comes out. And that's in my cookbook. And look this at how pretty good. that is. That's a nice display. I, I was going to say so pretty I don't want to eat it. I lied. I do want to eat no, it. No, we want to eat it's it. It's pretty, but I want to eat it. Now, I keep this in the freezer. Your crumb topping. My crumb topping in the freezer, and then if I have to, I take a, a meat mallet and, and break it up a little bit. Good idea. Oh, yeah. Well, with, as often as you're making it, you yeah. want to make everything easy and uh, easy, right? Easy, quick. Yeah. And, and it's, right there to grab. And my husband's always happy when he comes home from work and finds <laughs> an apple tart on the stove. Well, I can't wait to try it. I don't yeah. know if we'll be able to give you a foot massage today, Ann, but hopefully you'll still share your I know about <laughs> massage now, so yeah, I can no, give you some tips. Okay, yeah. you get it back. All right, yeah, we'll get, get to this. Oh, yeah. Okay. First. I'll eat. Okay, thanks so much, Yeah, Great to be with you. And to learn more about Anne and to view the recipe for apple tarts for two, just log on to <laughs> annstableforto.com.